Hello world, this is Lockpicking Dev. Today I have a little five pin Bunker Hill Petlock. It is standard, uh, all standard pins, but we're gonna pick it and get it to show you that real quick. It's uh, another one of those locks that I had that I figured I might as well take apart and show what's inside since I have it. Oh, there we go, right in the back, simple, easy. It felt like I only picked one pin there, so the rest of them may have just been at height. So, let's go ahead and gut it real quick. This is our plug retra retaining screw right there. Remove that, that way we can remove our pins. It's best to remove the pins first after you have it done, just in case your plug has some of those uh, cost-saving uh, grooves cutting into it. That way your driver pins don't fall down into it. One. Two. Looks like part of this I may have forgot to put springs in it. <laughs> After I, yeah, I think I did. That is freaking hilarious. We're going to go with it anyway. Because, I mean, it's just a little five pin standard padlock here. Do the whole damn thing because I forgot some because of something stupid. Then our last pin, that last key pin will come out. Oh, I have a spring in that one. <laughs> uh, okay, we just there we go. And there we go, there is our pins. Oops, with the one spring in the last chamber there. Uh, yeah, normally it does have springs. I just forgot to put the uh, new springs in because the last one got drilled on. So uh, there you have it, that is the Bunker Hill padlock. I'm trying to get it to focus on the, the actuator here. The actuator is that typical one with the uh, horizontal crossbar and the tailpiece and that side will go down and that side will go up. And this is our plug. So you know what you're working with. Alright everyone, hope that helped. Thanks for watching.